I'm joined with Coach Gary Patterson, TCU's winningest head coach in school history. We're days away from TCU's Pro Day. What can we expect from Pro Day? D1 bound Alexa Shaw here with Micah Pittman, wide receiver from Oaks Christian, class of 2019. Yes, you heard me right, 2019. You come from a football family. Your dad was in the NFL, your brother's at USC, but now it's your time to shine. How are you looking to make your mark this season? Joined with Colby Listenby. Now looking back here on your career at TCU, what does this school and this program mean to you? You've clearly added weight and size. How do you feel that that'll help you against the press coverage that you'll see in the NFL? Let me introduce you to KJ Costello, quarterback out of Santa Margarita High School in California, committed to Stanford. You're out here playing against and with the top 90 athletes from around the country. What has this week been like for you? LT, welcome back to TCU. It's always great to have you. What is it like coming back here and watching these young athletes perform at their pro day? Now, Coach Dilfer talks a lot about buying into this process here. How has your experience been so far here at Elite 11? I'm here with Chase Garbers, quarterback of Corona Del Mar, class of 2017. From the Army All-American practice facilities for D1 Bound, I'm Alexa Shaw here with some Kentucky commits who are going to introduce themselves, and then I'm going to ask them some rapid-fire questions for you Wildcat fans to get to know them better. One of the best things about TCU's Pro Day is having the alumni come back and support these guys. What is it about TCU that makes it such a family? I'm sure you had such a great experience on the Elite 11, and there's so many young kids that look up to you. Who are your role models? Now, Jason Brett has a question for Josh Dawson. Now give it to him. You had an idea and expected certain things from this week. Has it been what you expected so far? Talk to me a little bit about your relationship with quarterback Tate Martell. We're in the same city that TCU made the biggest comeback in bowl history in the Alamo Bowl beating Oregon. What did you think about that game? You had an impressive 40 time with a 4-5-2. Now tell me, what have you been doing these past few months getting ready for today and the upcoming NFL season? Now, after this interview, you're going to have to coach me up on my five-step drop. We have a truckload of offers. When can we be expecting a commitment from you? Is that coming soon? What is it like being down there in San Diego? What is your favorite thing to do when you're not playing football? Now I'm going to ask you, Raekwon, a few rapid-fire questions for your fans to get to know you better. What advice do you have for young up-and-coming players who are looking to get a D1 offer? To ask you some questions that these dog fans really want to know about you, Instagram or Twitter. Now you're trailing going into the second half. What adjustments were made in the locker room? Thank you so much for your time and can't wait to be watching you on Fridays, Saturdays, and hopefully Sundays. Once a horn frog, always a horn frog. Thank you so much for your time. From TCU's Pro Day, I'm Alexa Shaw. We can't wait to follow your successes at TCU. From the Army All-American game in San Antonio for D1 Bound, I'm Alexa Shaw. And from the Carter, I'm Alexa Shaw. And make sure to follow TCU FTW for all things Pro Day. From San Juan Hills 7-on-7 seven seven passing tournament for D1 Bound, I'm Alexa Shaw.